Greetings. Grand rising. Peace, people. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everybody is okay, as well as to be expected. This is to all the people that are really, truly hurting on this planet today. There is some misery on this planet right now, all over this globe. People are truly, truly suffering, living less than an animal, truly, truly suffering mentally, physically, financially, in every way, children marrying at 12 years old, working in mines, people dying in these mines trying to get out cobalt. Nobody cares. It's just, it's just incredible the way people are living on this planet. And then another person, their country, their ATM machine is made out of pure gold. I'm not connecting the dots, people, but I'm passing through here. This can't be my home. This is not my home. I often wonder how Jeffrey Dahmer found someone just like him that was a cannibalistic individual too, a humanoid. How do you find someone that does that just like you? How do you find someone that's just as psychotic like you? How do the conversation start off? How did he find someone that liked to eat people just like him? So, how do they find these people now that are going along with this madness that doesn't make sense at all? It just, how do you find someone that's just as psychotic as you to follow suit of your madness? And you have power. And it was explained this way. Think of the pyramid. A point. And just slice it like that. Horizontally. Where the madness. The one to five is at the top. And they pass they psychotic. Madness down to the second level underneath them. And they done. They don't have to do anything else. Now you got these small-minded men that have power and psychotic too, and they pass it down to the next level. They done with it because the next level gonna handle it. And they little peon brains and psychotic and evil heart got position and power and money now, and they gonna pass it down. And that's what happens. That's what happened. They pass it down until it gets to you and I at the bottom. That the top don't have to do anything. It's, it's at the bottom. Um, that suffers. Um, what are we going to do, people? Just say no. And... Oh, just say no. But that's how madness is spread. And then a lot of times they have pictures to expose you, to make you to comply. Blackmail, sanction, shut you down. You don't comply. You fly. And money. Love, riches, and money. But I just wonder where they be, where these people going to live after you destroy Earth. They're not talking about the global warming. It is serious business. 
Uh, I'm going to get back online and see about what's happening. All these floods are happening everywhere in China, India, all over the world. Floods. And they're not telling you people what's going on. Where are the rich children going to live? Do they care about their grandchildren? Where are they going to live? I'm tired of these freaking ads. Where are their children going to live? Do they care? Don't, I mean, where are they going to live? So you have a, what you call these rooms? Where you go in for safety? A steel room, but you got to come out. It doesn't matter, people. Don't get envious and jealous of all these rich people around here and, you know... All the celebrities with all their money and their castles and everything because it does it's not going to serve them well. Earth is not friendly to anybody right now. Earth is angry. And I want to add that onto the list of uh, uh, warriors that's going to come and stop this madness. If the Anunnaki's don't come, uh, then maybe the military will uh, help us. But if that don't do, Earth is rebelling. Earth is going to close and employ on everybody. Earth is pissed. So I don't know where all these super rich and these celebrities going to live and they little sweet darlings and they grandchildren. Where? And I want to end with that. Keep it short and sweet. Short and sweet. Peace, people, if you can find it. These are truly interesting times. Are they not? Peace. If you can find it.